Hello and welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shinadel Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, today is Wednesday, June the 30th, 2021. Got a happy birthday shout out going out to Bronny Corbett, Sherry Hallemeyer, and Christian Rippy. So without further ado, here's a birthday song for the three of you. Hey, Christian. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, I heard it's your birthday today. So happy birthday, I must say. Hey, you know, uh, it's a one more year older today. So a uh, happy birthday to you, I say. I said, hey, Ronnie. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Christian. Hey, I heard it's your birthday today. Why, that's another trip around the sun that you made. Well, I hope you're enjoying your very special day. Because, well, it's your a happy birthday day today. Happy birthday to the three of you. Happy, happy birthday. I got some uh, Shinsho like shout outs going out to Martin Kelly. And uh, Shinsho shares going out to Doug Bell Bell, a.k.a. Steve Clary. And, uh, of course, my pokey pal, Amanda Sue Little. All right. Well, alrighty then. Looks like it's time for our uh, weather forecast. And today's weather forecast is going to be brought to you by Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. That's right. Refreshing Word Fellowship Church is located in St. Charles, Missouri at 2054 Campus Drive, St. Charles, Missouri, 63301. That would be directly across from St. Andrew's Annex, which is right behind St. Andrew's Plaza. Uh, directly across the street from Greener's uh, Pub. That's right. Right next door to mm, the Children's Kitty Zoo. Mm, Kitty Corral. How about Kitty Care? Mm, with Playpen. That's right. Right next to that pin, Playpen, across the parking lot. And in the first building, yes, sir, Bob, that would be us. Refreshing Word Fellowship Church uh, begins their services at 11 a.m. on Sunday mornings and uh, have an hour of power prayer on uh, Wednesdays at 1.30 to 2.30 each and every Wednesday. That's p.m., that is. All right. Alrighty then. Refreshing Word Fellowship Church, come on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome all. Alrighty then. Hey, here's our forecast. The uh, cloudy skies. Uh, well, actually, it's like 82 degrees out there right now. But uh, for the remainder of the day, we got cloudy skies with showers and possible thunderstorms late at night. Lows around 70 degrees Fahrenheit with winds light and variable. Chances of rain 80%. Locally, heavy rainfall is quite possible. And then for Thursday, July the 1st, thunderstorms likely in the morning and then a chance of scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 84 degrees Fahrenheit and winds are going to be north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain 80%. Partly cloudy skies with low temperatures around 61 degrees Fahrenheit overnight with winds northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for Friday, mm, mm, July 2nd, sunshine high in around 80 to 1 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be north to northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Clear skies overnight with low temperatures of 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for Saturday, July the 3rd. Sunny skies with high temperatures around 82 degrees Fahrenheit and winds are going to be light and variable. Clear skies overnight with low temperatures around 64 degrees Fahrenheit and winds are going to be light and variable. And then for uh, July, Sunday, July the 4th. Uh, sunny skies, highs around 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be light and variable and mostly clear skies overnight with low temperatures around 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be light and variable. We like those light and variable winds. means not much wind at all. Now, Monday, 
these, uh, I mean, July the 5th, except for a few afternoon clouds, mainly sunny. High temperatures around 91 degrees Fahrenheit and winds are going to be south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mostly clear skies overnight with low temperatures around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be light and variable. And that, my friends, concludes your five-day forecast for the St. Charles viewing area. Hey, how about uh, coming on down to the parade? That's right, St. Charles Riverfest Parade is going to be on uh, July the 3rd. That's right, July 3rd, 2021, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., located at St. Charles, Missouri. Contact the St. Charles JCs for more information. The parade begins at Ballast Park, North Main Street, and turns right and becomes, which becomes Tecumseh Street. Mm, slight left onto North 2nd Street, and then left on Clark, right on into Main Street. North Main Street, that is. Left on Boone's Lick Road. Left on Riverfront, uh, Riverside Drive. Parade sponsored by the St. Charles J.C.'s arrival on Main Street at approximately 10.45 a.m. All righty. Well, all righty then. Uh, it's not going to be a whole long show today, folks, but we're still into the Constitution. So don't forget, we're doing the Constitution just to get her done so that the kids can understand a little bit about our founding fathers and forefathers and the way this country was set up and designed in the first place. Mm, Okay, all righty, here we go. Well, if tomorrow all things were gone, I'd work more all my life. And I had to start again with just my children and my wife. I'd thank my lucky stars to be living here today. Because the class, the flag still stands for freedom. And they can't take that away. And I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died, who gave that right to me. And I'd gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee. Across the plains of Texas, from sea to shining sea, from Detroit down to Houston, and New York to L.A. Well, there's pride in every American heart, and it's time we stand and say that I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free, and I'd gladly stand up. And I won't forget the men who died, who gave that right to me. And I'd gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. Well, I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died, who gave that right to me. And I'd gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. All right, here we are, Constitution, Article 4. Article 4, Section 1. Full faith and credit shall be given to, in each state to the public acts, records, and judicial proceedings of every other state. And the Congress may, by general law, prescribe the manner in which such acts, records, and proceedings shall be provided, and uh, the effect 
thereof. Section 2. The citizens of each state shall be entitled to all privileges and immunities of citizens in the several states. A person charged in any state with treason, felony, or other crimes who shall flee from justice and be found in another state shall on demand of the executive authority of the state which for which he fled be delivered up to be removed to the state having jurisdiction of the crime no persons held to service or labor in one state under the laws thereof escaping into another shall in consequence of any law or regulation therein be discharged from such service or labor but shall be delivered upon claim of the party to whom such service or labor may be due section three new states may be admitted by the congress into this union but no new state shall be formed or erected within the jurisdiction of any other state nor any state to be formed in the in the junction of two or more states or part of states without the consent of the legislatures of the states concerned as well as the congress the congress shall have power to dispose of and make all needed rules and regulations rep representing uh, the territory or other properties belonging to the united states and nothing in this constitution shall be so construed as to prejudice any claims of the united states or of any particular state section four the united states shall guarantee to in every state in the union a republican form of government and shall protect each of them against invasion and on a application of the legislature or of the executive when the legislature cannot be convened against domestic violence article 5 the congress whenever two-thirds or of both house shall be deemed it necessary shall propose amendments to the constitution or on the application of the legislature of two-thirds of several states shall call a convention for proposing amendments which in either case shall be valid to all intents the purpose as part of this constitution when ratified by the legislature or of three-fourths of the several states or by conventions in three-fourths thereof as one of or the other mode of ratification may be proposed by the congress provided that no amendment which may be made prior to the year one thousand eight hundred and eight shall in any manner affect the first and fourth classes first and fourth clauses in the ninth section of the first article and that no state without its consent shall be deprived of its equal suffrage in the senate okay we're going to stop there today and we will pick up with articles uh, six tomorrow okay this brings us to our portion of the program called our daily bread our daily bread is uh, brought to you today by the Bible with Frisco 2021 
The Bible with Briscoe 2021 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Today's daily reading of the Bible with Briscoe will contain Job 17 through 19 and Acts 10, 1 through 23. Don't forget to tune into the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for your daily reading of the Bible. Okay, the secret of contentment. That is today's devotion in the Daily Bread portion of the program. Now, uh, the scriptures that go along with the secrets of uh, of contentment is Philippians 4, 10 through 13. And so here we go. I rejoice gladly in the Lord that at last... You renewed your concerns for me. Indeed, you were concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstance. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. And there's the secret. All things can be accomplished with God, and the secret to contentment is understanding that God loves you. Eh. And we'll take care of you. All right, my friends. Hey, that looks like the end. Oh, by the way, that looks like the end of the Daily Bread portion of the program, which was brought to you today by The Bible with Frisco 2021, a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. All right. Hey, that looks like the end of the Shen Show for us, for us, me, for me, and hopefully for you too. Anyway, uh... Got one more song for you, and that would be oh, well, Goodbye, my friends, it's uh, time to go. I said goodbye, my friends, it's uh, time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends, goodbye. This here has been Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Thanks for tuning in to the Shen Show. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see me tomorrow because, well, hey, I'll be here. And I hope that you are too. <laughs>